<laughs> Blood, Blood Axe is a genius that it comes naturally. He's a protagonist. Yeah, We're the yeah. secondary character that has to work hard. We're Rock Lee, <laughs> and he's Naruto Sasuke. <laughs> you know, we're over there working hard, and he's just like, oh, look, I got a new title. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Dice Junkies. I'm Zeno Damus. I'm here with you. And on Skype. We have the Lucky Blood Axe. <laughs> the Lucky Blood Axe. There we go. All right. Let's get started. Um, well, and that, 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 I originally meant to mention that. And I, I honestly, we, we talked on this subject for so long, I almost uh, forgot to. Thank you. I did. Thank you for bringing it up. But yeah. So throughout all this, Nintendo says it's it won't compete with Microsoft and Sony in acquisition arms race. And uh, it is going to continue to, uh, it says, our brand was built upon products crafted with dedication by our employees. So, I don't know about all that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I've heard some stories about Nintendo. But, uh, but no, Blood X said it well. I'll let Blood X do this because we made him be silent because he's not a PC guy. But he described why <laughs> Nintendo doesn't care. Go ahead, Blood X. Well, the thing about uh, Nintendo is they're not doing all the acquisitions that we've seen Sony and Microsoft do uh, in the past year or so. Uh, Nintendo has really honed in on their homebrewed characters and, and their game franchises, uh, as opposed to trying to acquire other ones. What they do well is a different market. Um, tar- uh, they do well with their target audience, uh, which is going to be families, uh, young kids, and a lot of the overseas crowd. But they don't have all of the R and D in their console. I mean, look at the Switch. It's it's a it's a portable m- machine that can hook up to your TV versus a uh, Series X, which is extremely advanced and developed. Um, but the uh, acquisition costs, the uh, the R and D, and and all those uh, those those feet, those costs, they're not having to shell that money out. Uh, they're focusing more on making quality games, which, you know, with Metroid Dread, and I don't know, I know you guys aren't Mario Kart fans, but man, Mario Kart, it's a, definitely a staple around this household, um, along with Super Smash, which you guys do play. So, I mean, there are some titles that, you know, we escape with on the Nintendo side, and they're more affordable than going out and spending 500 bucks for a console. And they're already owned so, by Nintendo, so. <laughs> That's the part he yes, said before. So you said, remember you mentioned yeah, it, like, not, they get 100% of the profit, too, because it's their license, their games. Right. And they're very protective. They don't lease their characters out a whole lot because they want to keep the integrity of the characters intact and keep their lore intact. So, I mean, everyone recognizes Mario and Donkey Kong and Wario, uh, Samus. So, I mean, they've got some legacy franchise they've done very well with and hopefully will continue to do well. But they don't have a need to compete because... Uh, I have both. I have an uh, Xbox and a Switch, and we'll probably continue to own both. And as, as long as they're like, okay, cool, we can keep this family market together, and the hardcore gamers can go towards, you know, the uh, the fran- uh, the console wars, then that's fine. We'll just cater to both, and then we'll make our money that way, which is a very smart business strategy, uh, as opposed to it's either has to be PlayStation or has to be an Xbox. Well, you have both. I have both. We can eventually get Q to buy one. And then, and and, because again, they're not expensive and their games are a lot of fun. And their games hold value. If you go back to trade them in or you look at a used copy in GameStop, they are much higher priced than their Xbox equivalents Mm -hmm. because of the way they hold their value. So they don't need need to compete. So Switch costs as much as some deluxe game packages. Like that's how cheap it is. The only reason I don't own a Switch is literally because Jarek's a poor sport. Yeah. Like, like if I had friends who were less bitchy about playing Smash Brothers, I would own a Switch just for that one game. And that's the way I'm going to put it. Nintendo don't care because, one, they keep all their money. They do. They don't have a middleman. They, they make the game. They own the game. Two, they've got console sellers. Now, the only reason why is because they're smart. The consoles aren't expensive. Yeah. I would spend like the bucks, money to yeah. buy a Switch just mm-hmm. to play. And then I'd spend like, a, I'd buy all the characters. Heck, I paid for half the characters on your game. He literally cared to come out. He'd be like, man, it's like 30 bucks to get the rest of your character. And I'm like, here's 15. No, that's a different game, man. Sure, I've sent you money, I thought, for something. No, not some for Switch Smash. Game. Smash Smash has been like three bucks a character. Oh, so. But I know I paid on some of them. Um, 
Or was that DOA? That was DOA. Uh, DOA. And, DOA is and, also. And Tekken and stuff like oh, that. Oh, God. Hey, boy, Leroy, boy. I don't know, baby. Yeah. Be sure to check us out at NiceChuckies.com, where, where we have links everywhere we can be found. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all that good stuff. I actually, posted, I actually posted a picture on Instagram the other day, man. Oh, and, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> No, it was a good picture. I yeah, was yeah, yeah. So bad. Uh, yeah. Well, be you sure don't to... invite me to bars anymore. He goes to all the bars with his work friends. Oh, uh, be sure to check us out on YouTube. Like and subscribe. We have a lot of game content that's been getting posted up from Blood Dying Axe Light. and uh, and Q. There, yeah, they've been doing some Dying Light. Of course, you know they they keep you up to date on the latest with uh, that that other game. What is it called? Uh, Tiny the... Tina's Wonderland. No, no, no. The one where you build stuff. Grounded. There you go. Grounded. Some grounded content. I mean, that's some of the most popular content, uh, uh, gaming wise, is, is yeah, that grounded I got a content. Video coming out for the best perks so. that'll be out probably in about a couple of days on what you because we made a mistake, double jump. Yeah. Oh, me and both me and Bloodass were looking at. Let's just say we're going to tell you what Ooh, to buy jump. and when to buy it. Yeah. So be sure to check that out. Like, subscribe, so you get all those notifications. And as every week, we hope you enjoy. All right. <laughs> <laughs> For Borderlands 3 veterans, we needed the Inferno Shield. This mofo went in an arms race, and it just fell. No, just randomly dropped. He literally said, I'm going to go get the mm. Inferno Shield. He said those words to me. And while he was talking to me, he said, Inferno oh, there race. it is. I wanted to go to Gulfport and kick his ass. <laughs>